Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Cassandra here and today we're going to talk about... Today we have a wrap up. So today we're going to talk about the books that I have read in July. So if you're ready, grab yourself a cup of coffee and let's get going. Sir? No, no, no. So the first one that I did wanted to mention is The Billionaire's Deal. So I have read that one and to be honest, it hasn't been that great because I literally cannot recall what the book was about. Oh, yeah. No, there's a guy and his auntie is going to take over his company unless he gets married by 35. And then there is a, like, a secretary that listens to it and somehow her cousin or best friend or sister or someone like that says, like, walks into his meeting and she's like, well, I'm your fiancé, like, introduces herself to the auntie. And all she wants is just tuition to cover her university course. And then after a year, they're just going to divorce and live happily ever after. Um, so that's how it starts and it was good but like one to five stars it wasn't that smutty it wasn't that romantic it was very typical it was like a mediocre very mediocre read so that was the first one um, read the second one is the magic and I haven't finished finished it the magic is the second book into the uh, the secret series that is magic and as you guys can tell it's not the first time I'm reading it I'm like 195 pages since so I have a few pages left but I feel like this book is the best when you do what they tell you when you're like I just want to be grateful today which I feel like we all should be every single day for all the things that we have like you know another day for example and um, so it has been really great as you can see I've been highlighting the things that are important and um, I already bought the book um, second hand so it already had highlights in it resonating that's what I kind of highlighted so if you guys would like to see more like spiritual books or self-love and stuff like that I am more than happy to do a video the other non-fictional is the spirit junkie and again that is a book that I am rereading I know we are today is the first of August actually um, and I am like more than a halfway through so I kind of want to include it because I have read it and I have listened to it in July as well but I just thought I will go and highlight some things so that one is going to be transitioned into my TBR as well the next one that I've read was I actually listened to it and I'm, I've been listening to two books um so the first one was that I finished was my dark Victoria which I could not stop listening to it and if you guys have recommendations for good audiobooks because the second one I'm going to tell you about, I have been listening to, but it like goes up and down versus Dark, Dark Victoria. I was doing my makeup, I was listening to it. I was walking, I was listening to it. I was cleaning, I was just hanging out with my boyfriend. Like any chance I got, even like making myself a cup of coffee, I'll put it on because I just wanted to know what happens. And it's very rarely that it happens to me that I listen to an audiobook and I'm like, I just want to know. A lot of the time I listen to them before I go to bed, so it just like mellows me out. So I like... Uh, the Hundredth Queen, that was really good. And then, oh, it's a retelling of uh, 1001 Nights. That book was so, like, I just get into the world and it's so goodly described. So that's what A Dark Vanessa did for me. I just needed to know what happens. So if you guys have audiobooks that you would recommend that are that good, let me know. And the second one that I am 35 chapters in, I think I have, like, two hours left. And to be honest... I gave myself a new goal for this month is to every week like listen to an audiobook as I walk so try to go for like a half an hour walk in the morning and just listen to my books so I can get as much like listening done as possible also my goal is to get 10,000 steps a day so to get those steps in I have to move to move I can listen to my book so the second one that I am listening to is the hunting prince dracula so that is what i am listening to and is the second one so i've i've read and well i listened to stock and jack the ripper first then my lovely boyfriend got me the book for christmas i think two years ago maybe not last christmas christmas before um and i read it but it, it was better to listen to so i was like oh i'm going to listen because there's like three more that you know i blah, blah. There's three more that are out right now. So I was like, oh, it was better for me to listen to it. So hopefully the next three are going to be the same. So I started listening to um, the Prince Dracula, Dracula one. And to be honest, it's like a, I would say like a three and a half. I don't know. It just seems like it's, 
there are some moments there was like this morning I was like oh my god that's really scary um but it just doesn't it's not as good as the first one was which I, I feel like it happens with sequels a lot so I will give the next one which is escaping from Houdini a go and see how that goes because I just kind of want to finish the whole series but yeah it just hasn't been that good maybe because I was like hangover after the my dark Victoria and like nothing felt so good so that's it it has been a dark month considering it has been my birthday and it was summer and it was a nice weather most of the time I have read so much mystery and thrillers and actually I had so much fun I'm not gonna lie so the first one that was less of a mystery but more of like a fantasy is definitely a high fantasy is by Holy Black and it was the darkest part of the forest to be honest I don't know if there's like continuation of those books or if there's like more than one retelling to be honest Holly Black love her love her what was Cruel Prince I think she wrote yeah Cruel Prince love that series I had so much fun the first time I read it I was like mm, not great but then the next book came out and I was like okay I'm gonna reread it reread it in like a day had the next two books the next day so I had such a good time and with this one it wasn't bad but it kind of felt like it dragged I was going to do like a full-on review and it just wasn't for me not like I'm any critic I'm just there for the ride so just a disclaimer one if you guys like the book that I don't like and two if you guys think that I'm going to tell you something about like English lit in there and the styles of writing no 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 I'm here for the story okay so, so a lot of the time I watch people and they will be talking about like how their writing was and that it wasn't good enough I'm like I am just here to like get trans transported into another world and if this is what the book does for me like that's it like to me it's not that deep to me it's like I'm here to have a great time I have read so the first one that I read was the turn of the key and I already did I mention that one last month I know that I have a full review for this book and it's on my channel so I will link it down below five stars kind of thing it was so good it had turns it had twists I was suspicious the whole way so I would highly recommend it um, the second one that I've read was the dirty little secret which I do have a review coming I just someone didn't edit it and hasn't posted it because she's been lazy but someone is me I have a review that could be coming if you guys are interested give this video a thumbs up or say yes DLS we won them. seven houses and one day in summer police actually find a dead body of a lady that passed away three months ago and it's like a gated community so there's seven houses and that lady has been dead for seven uh, for three months like how can you not notice that you're neighbors especially they think in such a close-knit community didn't realize and as we go along we kind of see each one of the six other neighbors they have something to hide they there's something dodgy about them and then they all had runnings with the lady that passed away so it's like everyone is a suspect great it kept me on my toes and i was just reading and i was like it cannot be the first person because i'm like my gut instinct was like it's him or it's her but at the same time I'm like it can't be not, not you know not 20 pages into the book I'm like but maybe it kept me on my toes to literally the last chapter so I would highly highly recommend it the wife said Jesus Christ this book oh I was angry oh I was screaming I had amazing time I'm not gonna lie I had a great time reading this book but it kept me so annoyed and so confused so there is basically this lady and she only sees her husband on thursday thursday night friday morning like that's when she sees her husband right so then she, she finds oh so the husband turns out that he has two other wives one from a previous relationship so he had a wife before he divorced her and now he's dating thursday so well, is married to thursday which is our main character but then she can't have babies so he has another wife now which is currently pregnant and she finds a receipt for a full name and like where she lives and stuff like that so she then like kind of befriends that girl without telling her who she is and she's stalking her and there's like a whole story and then the first wife is getting involved and it seems like the guy is a bad guy 
and then we find out like layers upon layers and it was it was just driving me crazy like what would i do if i was in that situation what would i do if my friend was in that situation i just girls boys i don't know you can read it if you want to but girls i need you on this one tell me what you think because i was on the edge of my seat i was angry i was angry the last book that I actually officially haven't finished in July, so I feel like it's kind of an August read as well, but is what well, Alice knew. So I must say that all, like, the three mystery thrillers that I've read were, like, not five out of five, because I don't know if, like, that's my highest. I'm scared to give that five stars, but I would give, like, 4.8. They were great. And then I went to a secondhand store, a uh, second hand bookstore and I got what Alice knew and so the plot seems great and that's why I picked it up but it had is very like the main character she's an artist so there's a lot of like artistic words a lot of names thrown at you where I feel like and that's me you know not picking on the author not picking on the writing but I'm like it really throws me off from what actually is happening in a book Basically, Alice is a painter. She does like portraits. So she is a way to do this. And then um, she's driving back home and her daughter calls. She's just like, oh, dad isn't back home yet. And dad is the doctor that delivers babies. And he was going to go to a party of one of his friends that basically passed the bar to be able to be a doctor too. So they went to this party and dad is not picking up the phone, blah, blah, blah. So she's really like, you know, okay, I'm going to be home in about an hour. Like I'm driving stay safe i'm sure it's nothing so the husband comes back the next morning and he has some explanations so he's like yeah i left my phone you know i i went from the guy who's his name is pete the guy that just got that just got qualified so all from his house i got really really drunk husband never gets drunk and then they went to this girl's house um it was him and a few other guys and he basically stayed the night there and it's like what He's like, I don't remember anything. And then we find out that actually the husband, like, has done shit. And then that girl that he went to her house, Pete has warned him about that she likes to go for guys that are married, okay? And then that girl turns up to be dead. And there's, a uh, like, a murder investigation. And, guys, I feel like I rumbled for so long. And it's going to take me, like, three days to edit this video. And I really wanted to post it today. But anyways, with that being said, let me know what is your favorite read of July. Like, I just want to know what was your top read favorite book. And we can go from there. Maybe I can read it. Maybe I can react to it. Maybe I've read it. Maybe I have some opinions. Maybe other people have opinions. Also, with that being said, don't forget to go to Twitter and follow me. And we can talk about it. We can talk about everything. I like to react to people reading books. I've been posting as I'm reading like a little update so if you guys would like to see something like that let me know let's get connected you know let's be friends um and yeah i love everyone on twitter i must say that like book related twitter is everything so shout out to all of you guys i want to say to all of you girls because i mostly follow girls but if it's some boys hey what's up how are you and yeah i feel like i had way too much coffee so i'm gonna go now thanks so much for watching with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed it until the next time I'll talk to you guys soon.